I've been watching a bit of news on the old topic of politics, as apparently there is an election coming to Blighty or something, and a lot of so-called media experts are talking even more shite than the politicians, and Sweeney Pat, who should be located somewhere nearby, hello, will be setting up a new game show called Talking More Shite Than a Politician, where whomever talks the most shite wins a four-sliced toaster. Marvellous. I know that previous statement doesn't bring much to the table, but the reform message of an immigration election seems to hold some worth with me. You can't. Let's do a quick breakdown of UK politics, because I have no fucking idea. So, we have had straight-faced Sunak. Also known as the Brand Clan. That's racist! Actually, I'm not a racist, I just like rhyming couplets. Sunak says immigration is coming down. Yeah, mate, 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 mate. Yesterday, there were 999 of the buggers when Kenny on security at the port of Dover were trying to watch a place in the sun. But today, there were only 998. Silicon Starmer, who looks like that puppet out of E.T. with a wig and brick tops glasses, addresses the members of the public who are apparently still capable of independent thought. He looks through the looking glass and declares, I see no ship. A bit of irony there for the old people. You can't beat them, they just get up again. Not like their Generation Z. Oh no, the ones who go to Glastonbury holding up dinghies or talking shite on TikTok. Oh my god, I broke a nail and I was so upset I had to have a splurge at Harvey Nicholson buy a Prada bag. And then there is the Liberal Democrat leader, a man so ridiculous I can't even remember his name, who dicks about with children. I mean, water slide. Oh no, wait, 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 there's children playing around the water slide that he's trying to get close to. Oh fuck a duck, I didn't mean that. No ducks were involved, but there were a lot of duck spring rolls floating about in the buffet. I think he also went kayaking. And as for Hugh Fernley Whittingstall as a campaigner for the Green Party, <coughs> he can just lick my nine and fuck off. But make me a bacon sarnie before you leave. I can't see a single self-respecting restaurateur or chef in holiest at wildest at world Who's like? ever cooking a meal on an electric hob powered by renewable energy. So shut it. So... Back to the topic in question. What was the question? What was the topic? I can't remember. Oh yes I can. Immigration election. Here are two frankly frightening images. Luckily neither of them is Madonna in the bath. One of which is a statistical... Is that a word? It is now you care. Graph showing enormous predicted migration growth in this country and, although I wouldn't usually follow statistics as far as I could spit, alarm bells are ringing, good people. Just about drowning out the call to prayer. With just one thing choking this country, ultimately. Immigration. We all know it, but when you see it on paper, it boils my piss, even more than my bottle of single malt. The price, that is. How many million people voted for Brexit. How many will vote for reform? I'd like to see a considerable number of seat holders in Parliament so that, if nothing else, they can tell all the other parties how fucking useless they are at every opportunity. Terror.